CampingGearTV.com. We're back with another great episode today on a product yeah. maybe small in size, yeah. but big in stature. Big in stature from a company called ShiningBeam.com. ShiningBeam.com. And as you might suspect from the name, Shining Beam sells and produces and makes flashlights. Before we jump into that, can I make a little comment here? Please do. I wanted to let all the peeps that watch our show on YouTube know that we do read your comments and we appreciate them and we're sorry that we haven't been responding lately. Things have been crazy in our world. Thank you for your comments. We read them. Please keep commenting. Should we move on? We should. All right. So shiningbeam.com, all right. There's a guy named Brian over there who runs shiningbeam.com and he's been making a big name for himself in all of the forums online such as uh, Candle Power, other forums like that that are big on the cutting edge flashlight and LED technology and things like that. I mean for it's me it's, community. it's to the point where the name Brian is synonymous with lighting products. Right, absolutely. That's how big of a name he's making. And so our, our friend of the show, uh, Chris Hodges, turned us on to Brian's company and his products and got us a couple of keychain lights. Now these lights, which we'll get into more detail in a minute, these are the ITP A3 EOS keychain flashlights, right? And there's there's a ton of great stuff to talk about with these. But uh, first, I want to tell you about a couple other lights that Brian has because he's got some stuff that is insane. Now we haven't gotten our hands on these yet, but uh, let's talk about the Shining Beam S Mini XML T6 LED flashlight. Can you repeat that, please? That's the Shining Beam S Mini. XML T6 LED flashlight. That sounds okay. like a model number on a Terminator. It might be. Yeah. It might be. This thing might come to life and eat people, right? So here's the thing about this. It weighs 1.6 ounces, it's about 4 inches long, and has 400 lumens. The, say that again? 400 lumens, and it weighs 1.6 ounces, it's 4 inches long. That's not even possible. It's crazy stuff over there, and that one's only $43.75. So that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, if you're into lights, yeah, and really you really powerful lights. One. And the really cool thing about it is that Brian's not just making really bright stuff, which he is, but it's also uh, very long-lasting battery life and lightweight and durable stuff, right? So, for example, how about, um, how about the P-Rocket XML 850 Plus Lumens Compact LED Flashlight, all right? It weighs just... <laughs> It weighs 4.2 ounces and it's about five and a half inches long. 850 lumens. In a handheld light? Yes. How is that even Four ounces. How is that even possible? I don't know. It's ridiculous. And it's 45 bucks. It's ridiculous stuff that he's doing over there. 800 lumens? I mean, the stuff that they have at shinybeam.com is some of, not some of, it is the most cutting edge in terms of high power LED flashlights you and could, emitters. You could literally almost, purposes. that light is so bright, you could almost literally push something over yeah. with it. Well, let's let's just talk about how bright this little guy is. I mean, this thing is is shorter than my index finger. Let's compare it to the pinky. But way it's bigger, about, way about bigger, than, pinker. way bigger than another body part of yours. Did you hear me call it the pinker? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I like way it. bigger than another body part of yours. Yeah. Your little toe. Right. Yeah. Much bigger than a little toe. Very large. And um, so this thing here weighs, where's the weight? Nine grams, okay? Runs on a AAA battery. On the highest setting with that one Duracell AAA puts out 96 lumens. And at that highest setting can run for almost an hour, right? So efficient, high power, lightweight stuff here. Well, and, Very cool. and again, I think with a flashlight like it's this, twenty dollars. Yeah, good deal. Yeah, I think you know with a keychain flashlight, this isn't something where once the I think well, and, you know, you can use it for whatever you want, but I think typically, this isn't the type of thing you're going to use for when the sun goes down and you're out camping, and this is going to be your light for the next you know six right. hours. But it's pretty versatile. Right. Sure. I mean, um, you you could definitely use it when yeah. you're hiking as a, as a, a lightweight option. Yeah. You know, when you need to see some things here and there. Right. So an hour, you can usually milk that yeah. pretty long. And I will say that I think we've been seeing a lot of times with the quality light companies yeah. that that figure that they give on the amount of time they get is yeah. usually conservative. Right. A good company will always give a conservative figure. Sure. So I would, I would think you'd be able to get more than an hour out of it. 
Probably so. That's a good point. And, you know, here's another cool thing about Shining Beam. All of these lights have been designed by Brian and... The Brian? The Brian. Okay. And it's with Brian with a Y. Okay. Yeah. And um, he, you know, you've heard of the term crowdsourcing. Mm -hmm. Brian is, is big into engaging the online community, the people at Candle Power, people like our friend Chris. And really, you know, he's designing and producing lights that are made basically from the uh, the mind power of a lot of people coming together. Sure. You know, so it's really neat stuff. He's, he's tapping into the people that are really in the community to come up with these really cutting edge lighting products. And it's very cool stuff. The the XML emitter, I want to talk about that for a minute because it's, it's a big deal in, in the lighting community. People have been asking a lot of questions about it. It's been on the market for about six months and the XML emitter is not used in the keychain flashlight, but it's in the two I previously talked about, the one with 850 plus lumens and all that crazy stuff. It is the brightest and most efficient LED emitter that Cree has ever built. All right, so again, cutting edge stuff. Let's get into this a little more. Again, this is the ITP A3 EOS LED flashlight. It comes in a bunch of colors. I have a red one. Ben has a purple, purple. one. There's other colors. They have stainless steel. They have a black. They have an orangish, I think, something like that. I would have enjoyed the orange one. It's a premium Cree XPG R5 LED, hard finish with Type 3 anodizing. It's got a twisty on-off. Okay. That's and it's important got, for this. It's got three settings. Can you turn off the light for a second? Yeah. Thank Although you. we're filming during the day, so I don't know how. When I when I first got the light in the mail, the first thing I do when I get products is I take off all my clothes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I take a shower, right? Because I want to be clean when I'm playing with it. Sure. And when I mean it, I mean the flashlight. Definitely. So then I put my clothes back on uh -huh. and I play with it. Right. Right. And so the flashlight here, when I first turned it on, I thought, okay, you know, little flashlight. Here, why don't we show But then, as I started researching it, I realized that this keychain flashlight has three power settings. It has a low, medium, and high, and there's no button. You, you work it, the way you change the settings is by doing a quick off-on. So when it's on the low setting, quick off-on to medium, quick off-on to high. So hopefully you got that at home. Let me try that again. Down to low, down to low there, medium, high, right? So pretty cool stuff. So at that lowest setting, you got 1.8 lumens, medium, 22 lumens, high, 96, okay? Here's a cool thing too. Uh, our buddy Chris, who hooked us up with these lights, if you go out and buy 10 440 lithium ion batteries, you can effectively double the light output of these. So by going out and buying a rechargeable 10 440 lithium, which you can find them on eBay for about 15 bucks with a charger, right? Pretty good deal. Um, you can go up to almost 200 lumens with this 9 gram. This is like keychain flashlight. Two hundred lumens, and it doubles as like a dance party. Yeah, you keep doing that. I'll turn the light back on. Okay. I hope the fact that we're not shooting during the day hinders that too much. Hopefully, people can see the right the different settings. Right. right. Well, you know, take our word for it. The runtime is four hours on medium, fifty hours on low, and like I said, nearly an hour on high. It works with a AAA alkaline or NMI NIMH battery. Uh, what else about it? Comes with a two-year warranty, detachable clip, and two spare O-rings. 6.65 centimeters by 1.4 centimeters, and it's $20, folks. So, very cool stuff. You know, when you're, when you're buying products from Shining Beam, you're not only going to be getting the cutting edge, the, the, right, you know, the bleeding edge of the, the flashlight world, but you're also going to be buying from somebody who's just you know a guy like you and me who's really into the product and decided that he was going to start making cutting edge stuff right you know so you're not that's you're not buying from a huge corporation that's you know over overseas or something like that you're just buying from a guy who's making stuff and it's got a small boutique company you know that's kind of cool, cool stuff I, I like getting products from people like that because yeah. one none of your friends are going to have this it's going to beat the hell out of pretty much anything that they have and, you know, that stuff's cool. Made in America? Um, I am not sure if the light is made in America. I, I'm pretty sure that Brian and Shining Beam is an American company. Sure. 
I don't know where these are manufactured. Okay. I, I don't. So sorry is, about that. Is but, Brian American? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I never talked to Brian. Hmm. He talked to uh, Chris. I have Brian's uh, an autographed eight by ten of Brian. Do you really? Up on my wall above my bed. Right. On the ceiling. That's fantastic. Yeah. So there you have it. Shiningbeam.com. Check it out. Very well priced, super high end flashlights. Right. I mean, you know, it's like it. With all the specs that I just talked about with these flashlights, if we would have said sixty dollars and for the eight hundred fifty plus lumen light, if I would have said two hundred dollars, people would have been like, you know, that sounds about right for for what you're talking about because there's, that's crazy stuff. There's a lot of high end flashlights that I've seen in the two hundred, yeah. three hundred lumen range. Mm -hmm. You know, the stuff that's like tactical equipment. Yeah. You know, that are one hundred fifty dollars, yeah. two hundred flat, two hundred dollar flashlights. So that mm -hmm. kind of price is not so crazy. But these are not. This is 20. Right. The other ones are about 40. Right. So something to check out. And this isn't is coming. No. Santa Claus is coming. Right. And this Down is, your chimney. This isn't a cheap piece of plastic. This is actually pretty well built. Actually, this is a nice little flashlight. Oh, yeah. Very nice. So yeah. there you go. Shiningbeam.com. Get over there. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Get yourself something nice for Christmas. Oh, yeah. As the holiday season is... Uh, Santa's coming. Yeah. He's coming along. And we're coming at you again with another episode that we will uh, be doing next time, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Boy, that was uh, that flowed really, really smoothly. Yeah. So, but until then, he's Josh, he's Gary, I'm Ben. We are CampingGearTV.com.